Here is part 2 of the conveyor built example. We are going to use the same previous example and adding some features to it. The new features are when the conveyor starts, when the conveyor is on, there are two green lights to indicate that the conveyor is working. When the conveyor stops, when the conveyor is not working, there is a red light indicating that the conveyor is off. So the inputs are start push button and stop push button. The outputs in this case are the conveyor, stop light, and the two green lights. In the previous section, we programmed how to start and stop the conveyor. So this is the latter logic for the first part of the problem. Next, we need to program that when the conveyor starts, when the conveyor is on, two green lights indicating that the conveyor is working. So we have one input and two outputs. The input in this case is the conveyor memory bit. Remember that inputs and outputs can be an internal bits. So now using the memory address location of the conveyor bit in order to turn on the two lights. Since we have multiple outputs, we add them in parallel. Now, once the operator pushes the start push button, the conveyor starts. As soon as the conveyor starts, the two lights turn on. The last thing to program is adding the red light when the conveyor is not working. For this task, we use the same memory location of the conveyor bit, but this time we use an XIO instruction to indicate that the output is only on when the conveyor is not working, when the conveyor is not on, which basically means the memory location is zero. The reason to use the conveyor memory bit address and not the stop push button is that we need the light to be linked to the conveyor. Because if we use the stop push button, then the red light will be on as soon as the stop push button is pressed, regardless if the conveyor is on or off. And in case we have any wiring issues, we need to know that the light is connected to the conveyor, not to the stop push button, to ensure that the conveyor stops. So this is how the complete program looks like for the two parts of the conveyor belt. So this is how the program looks like in the simulation software. Note here that I used the same address for the conveyor for the two green lights. And I used the same address of the conveyor to connect it to the red light. The only difference is that I use an XIO instruction. And for the purpose of demonstration, I'm going to use the first light as a yellow to indicate that the conveyor is on. The second light is green light one. The third light is for the green light two. And finally, this is the red light to indicate that the conveyor stops. Again, I'm using the first stop push button for the start and the second one for the stop. Then you do the same thing. You go online, download the program and hit run mode. And notice here, as soon as I click on the run mode, the red light turns on because remember that we're using an XIO instruction for the red light. Whenever the conveyor is not working, the red light should turn on. Now, as soon as I hit on the start push button, notice here that the first light for the conveyor is on and we have two green lights. As soon as I press on the stop push button, now the conveyor stops and a red light turns on.